Robert, come on, dude. Accept the request. Come on. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk into everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you then hit that subscribe button down below. So after all this time, Deep Root has finally unveiled their first title in almost complete fashion. This is still not what the game is actually going to look like in its entirety. This is still considered to be a prototype so there will more likely be changes and some of them I'm hoping so and we'll go through that as we begin this. For those that don't know you can find all these images as well as the interviews that took place at thisweekinpinball.com that is where I got all of these images from that we're going to be going through. If I sound tired it's probably because I am. I just got off work I've been wanting to get home to kind of like get out my thoughts and feelings about this machine and I'm home and now I'm exhausted so I'm just gonna put this stuff out there and we're gonna have a bunch more information as well as gameplay footage and everything tomorrow which will be Friday if I even get this out tonight we're gonna see how the night goes. So let's start with the exterior before we get into the more interesting part of the interior. So this is something that I've noticed to be a pin side as well as Facebook, which is the only two media sources that I've kind of been observing throughout my day at work today. And it's that I feel like people look at these images and they are judging them solely by the images, but if they would read the interviews, they would have a lot of answers to their questions or things that they are being so picky about. For instance, the artwork on the cabinet. It's stated in the interview that these are merely placeholders. This is not the final artwork. And I hope so, because this is the outside of it is, uh, in comparison to the inside, is hideous. This is not good. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, it's it's a simple little thing. Like, okay, that's nice and everything, but uh, yeah, obviously the exterior of the cabinet is just a placeholder. Thankfully, uh, the same goes for the back back glass. It's all a placeholder. I believe this to be the actual size of the display. And that's another thing is I have no problems with this display. I'm perfectly content with this widescreen narrow view. And I don't even consider it that narrow. I think it's gonna be able to show us everything that we need. And I don't have a problem with this, but you have certain people that are just adamant on the fact that it's not the size of a friggin' television screen, which is just, it boggles me. I'm sorry, but whenever I'm playing pinball, I'm looking inside the machine. I try to at least. and. I'm not really too focused on what's going on the screen unless it calls for a time that I actually need to. So the size of the screen is really not pertinent to me. And I'm not even really focused on how well the graphics are on the screen. I mean, we're talking like me. I, I enjoy the hell out of 90s games. And I think that's why I have a little bit of passion for what I'm seeing in this game is that I favor the older games. So with that being said, there may be a little bit of bias in this because of what I'm seeing. So as far as the display, I don't have an issue with it. No problems. Speakers, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it sounds. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be sufficient for what we got going on. Um, so the cabinet art, uh, kind of crap, but I know that this is not the final version. So moving on to the next image. This is pretty much just a straightforward a uh, simple thing and this is the thing also guys that we don't even know for sure if this is actually going to be the legitimate cabinet that this is going to come in there's a chance that we're going to have different cabinets um which i'm on board for i mean at least we see that it's like a regular size pinball play field so that's one question that's out of the, the you know out of the ballpark right there is what kind of play field are we going to have is it going to be made of wood yes that's specified in the interview um as far as the apron I'm curious if they are actually going to stick with the full aluminum look or this is just a placeholder as well. So this is, I'm going to assume merely a placeholder. If it's not, I don't have a problem with it because I don't care. I'm not playing the apron. Um, 
But once we get deeper into the play field, this is where I start getting a little bit of a excited. So let's, this is the top side view of the entire play field looking down. And some of the things that I, I zoom in in here on to read is the instruction card. And uh, it's a little blurry, so it's legible. And I'm not gonna read the entire thing to you, but it gives you an idea of basically some of the things that you need to shoot for. Um, so if there's anything in particular that I need to pinpoint out, and I guess it's a Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is something that's kind of hidden unless you kind of like actually focus and see it. And I'm kind of curious to see what this Ferris wheel is going to be doing. Is it going to be like hurricane where it spins around, moves the ball? What's all going to encompass in that? You've got the Magna save and that's on the play field. We'll see that. We'll get there when we get there. So let's start working our way from the bottom right up. So what I see from launching the ball is, is uh, looks like it's going to launch directly into a potential VUC. Either it's going to be a VUC or it's going to be a 180 scoop that's going to launch the ball up into this portion right here and then roll out onto the play field. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't see anywhere else for this ball to go besides up and I don't think it's a VUC. I, it looks like it's going to be just a 180 ramp like you would see on Black Knight or Black Knight 2000. So it launches the ball, you launch the ball, actual shooter, comes up, rolls out, and the trajectory looks like it should feed, looks like it's actually going to feed your left slingshot. I don't think so. I would think it would be better off probably feeding your left flipper, but... Uh, either way, that's what it looks like to me. It's going to feed the play field from this portion right here. So something else, we have the Magna save, a uh, ramp that drops down from a pretty good distance too. Uh, this is a little high up, but, uh, so hopefully their play fields are as strong as they say they are. Uh, let's move on up a little further up and this ramp we'll see where this ramp is fed from this ramp is fed from back here somewhere <laughs> i don't know where it gets fed from we're gonna see if we could find the image for that but i think i've gone through them and that was something that i could not pinpoint is what feeds this ramp where is it getting fed from and it's the same ordeal with the far left ramp as well i don't know where it's getting fed from. This is something that interests me. Ride the coasters. So this is one hell of a ramp. You're gonna have to have some trajectory. And, um, <laughs> cause it goes up here, spirals around this, and then goes up an even more hill and feeds what looks like the back behind the play field or it goes up and just drops down and feeds this ramp, which looks like that's what it may do, in fact. Hmm. Either way, that's pretty cool. All the lights are obviously RGB because we're seeing color fading and gradient effects throughout the just the still shot. This is something else I noticed, and I don't know if anybody else has pinpointed it out because it's kind of hard to see, is this formation right here. Now, is this formation actually meant for a ball to be on top where the ball rides down this? I can't tell the size of this gap if it's actually going to work like that or not, but it's just kind of weird for them to actually have this in there because I'm not seeing anything else in here that would give me, besides it being a straightaway up, and the only way you can get that straight away up is by the kicker. And there's got to be a kicker right here. This kicker more than likely is going to launch that ball up and then back here for wherever it goes. But I'm wondering if there's anything that feeds the top of this plastic portion right here. Because it looks like it opens up underneath this ramp and would feed your left flipper possibly. Ah, there is a kickback. There's a kickback right here. It says kickback. So there is a kickback that will launch that ball straight up. You got your little spinner thing, very totan reminiscent right there. But I'm kind of curious to see how this mech works. Uh, mainly, I mean, it looks like obviously you're gonna shoot this. Ooh, I think I know how it works. 
Okay, so this is all speculation. Tomorrow we're gonna have actual footage and everything, guys, so I'm kind of throwing guesses and speculation out there just to see how close to right that I am. So, to me, it looks like you launch the ball up this ramp to hit this target, and then it lands. Now, once it lands there, it looks like it should free roam up underneath this. I don't think it's gonna actually be a mech that will move up and down, you know, under CPU control. This looks like it's gonna be all physical to where it's gonna hit that ball's gonna have enough weight behind it to cause it to roll and that ramp's gonna go up. Ball's gonna roll down to your left flipper, possibly hit this area right here. Atomic shop. Now this is something I'm kind of curious about how this is going to work. Um, from what I was gathering on the on the apron, it looks like this is, I'm guessing how you, what is it saying down here? Yeah, this starts modes evidently. So that's what it looks like. So this is gonna start modes, but Atomic Shop, what I was kind of curious about that this is gonna have some sort of um, currency, like that you gain some sort of currency, whether it be tickets, because it's an amusement park or Adventureland or whatever. Let's say you make certain shots and these certain shots get you, I don't know, so many amounts of tickets. And then you can use these tickets at the Atomic Shop to gain perks or progress in the story, um, stuff like that. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that's what it is. If it's not, then hey, I might have just given you guys some ideas. I don't know, but I like the idea of that. Besides uh, mentioning that I like the art, there's a lot of green on here, which I don't have a problem with. It looks like it's going to be very reactive to UV light. So I'm curious to see uh, those of us with Penn Stadiums how well that looks with the UV effect. I think it's going to look really good under like, you know, people with the black lights and stuff like that. I think it's going to, it's, this game looks like J-pop meets Big Bang Bar in a real quick glance. I mean, that's one of the first things I thought of was Big Bang Bar, I guess with the, the UV reacting green, that's what I thought of. All right, move on to the next picture. So this gives us a closer look to the atomic shop now this is something this is another thing that i'm believing that this is going to be all um this isn't final because a lot of these plastics guys these look like they were 3d printed and they're throwing them on the game because it's a placeholder for now uh, so i'm hoping that eventually this may look better and that includes the i'm going to assume his name is ned on the very back of the play field a lot of these 3D moldings look like they were 3D printed and painted up to put on the game for now. And uh, so hopefully that's gonna look a little bit better. If not, might wanna work on that, guys. Now that I'm getting a closer look at this, I'm leaning more towards me being correct on that. How the ball is just gonna roll up underneath this. Yeah. But I like this. It's, it's something that you don't really see. It's gonna hit that. And land in there and just roll out that's pretty cool so that ferris wheel i'm wondering what all that's gonna do is it gonna feed something take us somewhere else that's that's all speculation and it looks like there's gonna be even rgb in the pop bumpers because now the pop bumpers have this color tone to them and other images i've seen other colors so 3d printed ufo looking thing right there um, and this is where we get a better shot of the Ferris wheel. So this ramp spirals around right here. This is very reminiscent to me to a Totan. You have your World Cup soccer rollovers right here. And this looks like it's going to be a moving target. So that's going to be pretty cool. And what is that Ferris wheel going to do? I'm just curious about that. Looking at Ned up here, if you get close enough, you can see how it's 3D printed. Very good mock-up. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they're showing us guys, but this kind of gives you an idea of what they're going for. So, uh, I mean, there's no way that they're gonna be able to mass produce these things if they're all 3D printed like that. They're gonna have to get moldings and stuff like that done. But this, as, as it stands as a 3D, 3D printed, you know, model, it looks pretty damn cool. I like it. I think it'll look even better once it's uh, better quality. 
Mm, trying to figure out where that ramp gets fed. I mean, now, so it looks like this ramp feeds this ramp over here, or possibly even both. We might have a mech right here that can choose, like a diverter possibly, if it goes down this ramp or down this ramp. So that's pretty cool. My, I guess one of my concerns about if it does do the little roller thing on top of the plastics is how the hell it gets fed that way. But it looks like we got some sort of mech right here, up underneath here that does something. Is that, I can't tell, but I wonder if that's also a 360 ramp that throws it up on top of the plastic region right here to roll down. Hmm, I'll have to look at that again. So another look at that shot. There's the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel doesn't look like it does anything. Am, am I seeing this right? I mean, it looks like it's just got some open spaces, but I don't think it, feeds anything. The only way it could get fed is by coming around probably this way and then it gets rolled. I wonder if the Ferris wheel, the Ferris wheel feeds that portion over here. I don't know. I'm starting to ramble on. Let's move on. Spinners galore. Are they opto spinners? No, they are not opto spinners. There is a switch right there. So non opto, but that could change. I doubt it but it could change. And this is pretty much just another shot of what we've already seen, but just the pop bumpers are a little bit different color again. But as far as anything else that's different or new, no, everything looks the way it does. So that is Raza. What are your thoughts on Raza? This is my opinions. This is just my speculation on what the shots are going to be and what it can do. We will find out tomorrow what this machine is capable of. But just try to remember, guys, that this is not the final rendition. And for those of you that are really nitpicking this game apart, I'm like, really, guys, this is this is really getting me uh, amped up to where it's reminiscent to the games that we saw in the like the later 90s, all this stuff. This is J-pop, and you people have an issue with J-pop for what he's done in the past. And rightfully so, he did mess up, and, it'd be, and a lot of people just would like him to apologize. And if you would, I think that would just be like, all right, good, and we can go on to moving on. But some people are really stuck on it, and they're really, really sour about it. But, um, I'm just glad that he's designing again because I mean just because I own two of his games back here so that may be why I'm a little biased on that uh, I didn't lose any money towards him so there's I'm not telling you guys to move on but you if you want to be harping on that then whatever I don't care uh, all I'm saying is that this game definitely interests me but here's the main thing guys here's something that I believe everyone's got the question on their mind this is something that everyone wants to know and will deter whether or not deep root is going to move up the ranks and be an actual competitor in the pinball hobby pinball industry rather whatever but is the price now he robert has said and mentioned things many times in the past including years ago about how his machines will uh, cost less than current machines that are on the market so at that you're immediately thinking oh so they're gonna start out like less than Stern's pro model which is like six thousand dollars but the thing is I, it just recently changed up where he started talking about value and where I'm going with this is that I'm thinking that this machine's probably going to be around the seven, I'd say seven, seven thousand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go seven to seventy-five hundred. And if it's less than six thousand dollars, I will be surprised and stern look out because if they're able to give us all of this for the price of a pro model, then yeah, Stern, you've got some competition on the way. 
but I have a feeling that this is going to be about at least a $7,000 machine. Not to say that that's all their machine's pricings are going to be, but from the, what I'm seeing on this, and I've got what to compare to. I'm comparing to what's currently on the market, what they cost, and what they're giving us. So when Robert's talking about value and his passion for pinball and his mainly passion for Bally Williams era is that he's wanting to give us a lot more in the game compared to what Stern is giving us. Now, I'm not going to compare it to JJP because JJP gives us a lot in their games, but their prices are higher to, you know, account for that. Whereas Stern, they give us a game, but it feels like it's definitely been stripped down. So this game doesn't look stripped down. It looks like there's a lot to do on here, a good amount of shots. It's not a fan based layout, which is something I'm fond of. I like the weird shots, the obtuse things. I'm not much of a fan of just straight shots and just lining them up. That's not my thing. I just, I don't know, for me, it's more entertaining to have the weird layouts that's not your usual stuff. But that's just me. That's to enjoy the hobby to each their own. But these are my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. What do you guess? And you got to get these out before they actually re reveal anything, guys. But what do you think the price point's going to be on this game? What are your thoughts on this game? Does Stern have something to worry about? Comment down below and let me know. If you like what you've seen here, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, guys, peace out.